hi guys welcome to this video this video was a share on my journal workshops community the monthly challenge which I do at the beginning of every month but this month was so transformative and so significant for a lot of people I've been getting emails every single day since I first posted it and for myself personally has been shifts that I never thought would happen never ever thought would happen just in this week since the monthly challenge was first posted um, life-changing things really but they're not really appropriate to share here so if you want to follow me to my new avenue which I talk about in this video um, then I'll share more of that stuff there that's more life stuff more emotional stuff more um, deeper kind of yeah really quite um, personal stuff so I'll share that over and the new platform that I'm going to be talking to you about in this so it's also going to let you guys know who aren't part of my journal workshops community which why wouldn't you be because it's free um, but and there's loads of amazing people on there obviously that bit goes without saying um, but if you're not a member of there and you haven't heard me say that what's happening in my life right now and, and the changes that are going to be coming to Jenny Belly then you guys are also going to know from this video more about that as well so it is be warned um <laughs> transformative you as soon as you open up and kind of say i'm ready for change in my case and in other people's cases what has changed has shocked and surprised us and in some cases delighted us you know and and all of it i feel like there's not been any kind of um, change that didn't need to happen this is all opening up stuff that really needs to shift this is what the whole process is about so Get your paints, get your pens, get your everything ready. <laughs> Hold on to the seat of your pants. Hi lovelies, welcome to February's monthly challenge. Firstly, sorry that this monthly challenge is gonna be late. That's because of a few things, but really this is quite a deep monthly challenge and it's taken me quite a few days to go through the process myself. So this is about the shift, dun dun dun, and we're going to make a journal around whatever changes it is that you want to make in your life, and it's really quite a deep reflective process. It's down to you how deep you go, the level you go to, as always, but I warn you now, if you do go into it, then um, you may have what I have. It depends how a reflective person you are. I'm an extremely reflective person. I know what my weaknesses are, what my strengths are, what my fears are, what my habits are, what my dreams are. I know all of that. And I still, I still found this extremely um, gnawing, digging, whatever. But that is down to you in terms of how much you apply yourself to the process of this, okay? So there are some shifts happening with me which I may announce at the end of this video, I don't know, because it is quite um, important to Jenny Belly and some changes that are going to be coming to Jenny Belly. Um, and so it could also be that my shift is quite a big one in terms of what I've gone through with this journal is just a representation of what's currently happening in my life. So that could also be the reason why it's quite deep so you can just make a happy fun journal if you want if everything's going brilliantly in your life and everything's on point if it's not though the number one thing you have to do in this process is be honest with yourself so it's also a little bit um, building upon the monthly challenge we did last month in the live journaling session where I asked you what is the big thing that you really want to create in 2018 and really being honest with yourselves on a level that often many of us aren't really honest with ourselves in terms of what we really truly want there's something deeper there's something that really we need to dig up um, something that we've told ourselves we can't have it's not practical it's not possible we've got this daily commitment and this life that we've set up for ourselves so having this sort of thing would be really shifting our life which is what I'm going to be doing so a lot of the time we ignore that and that this journal is about bringing that forward it's about creating what I'm calling a shift because that's what happens within you when you step up and say 
that you're not ignoring it anymore, that this is what's going to happen, or that is at least the direction that you're going in. So that is why it can be, depending on where you are in life, either just a process where you say, I want this, and it can be something really easy that you're going to get your hands on very quickly because everything's perfect for you pretty much right now. But it can also be really deep if you are honest with yourself and you say, hmm, this isn't quite right and there's this thing that I'm denying with myself, but life's okay so I'm going to carry on as it is. So this is about making your life better, which is why it can be hard because our fears can come up. We cannot be honest with ourselves because we think we're not going to get that thing. So we try not to disappoint ourselves, we try not to get a big head or be, you know, be egotistical because what are other people going to think if we want this thing that's bigger than what we maybe think we deserve or should have. So the first step in this is to really drill in to that honesty and that for me meant forcing my ass out here. So today is the day that I came up with the idea for the monthly challenge and I just wrote in my journal, just forced myself outside into my outdoor studio, first time in weeks. As soon as I'm out here I want to be here, it's so uplifting, but to get myself to come out I resist because I know reflections are coming and I've been avoiding that lately, a lot or entirely. So this place to me is like a mirror, it's a reflective place, it's where I come and I cannot help but really just sink in to who I am and what's going on right now so I've been avoiding that but as soon as I came out here and it's also a place of contemplation with <laughs> a whole ton of books and stuff around here and literally as soon as I wrote this as soon as I came out here, as soon as I put that dot on that full stop, I knew what the monthly challenge was going to be. I got a download and that happens as soon as I come into this space. So the first step of this monthly challenge is to go inward. Now it doesn't mean it has to be a physical space for you, it can be, it can be something like um, what I would call this space for me is a sacred space. <laughs> Um, and my sacred space includes messy creative things um, or it could be if you are a journaler it could be your journal if you are a meditator it could be meditation if you are a walker it could be a walk we all know what is actually going to ground us bring us back to center bring us back to our inner self uh, to neutral to level whatever you call it we all know what it is that we, we require for that so that is the first step and I'm gonna use one of these big pieces of paper this is just a stack of paper I'm gonna slosh paint on it and just rip it up and put it back together to make a journal
so while you're painting collaging stenciling whatever it is you want to be doing um, drop in to that reflectiveness while you're doing it and be conscious of what it is you're doing here because that is what a process is and the point the problem with giving people processes I've realized with the classes that I've done and things like that is it's down to you guys I can give you the steps but the process itself happens on your end it doesn't happen on mine it happens on you doing the inner reflective work so in here think about maybe you're not reflective on a daily basis maybe you are or maybe you're not maybe things just happen every day that overtake um, and so maybe think about where you deny yourself that reflection and that real accountability to yourself not to others not to things that are happening not to ride around but to yourself and when we have made our backgrounds I'm going to make mine quite dark and quite light, leave a lot of white on the other side and on those areas I'm going to write a lot and this is about getting it all out and that honesty and actually putting it down because there's something that happens scientifically when we write things out, there's something that happens in our brain when you physically write something out, um, it's to do with the pressure of your thumb as you're writing out and it sends signals to your brain that this is the truth, it's real okay so I want you to write this out and just go through it and if things come up that don't make sense it doesn't matter don't be self-conscious just write things out and that's what I often find and that's what I found in this journal as I was doing this process is things would come up and I wouldn't quite know where they fitted and then something else would come up and then suddenly that statement I made before made sense and this for me was all about releasing, 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 forgiving myself for releasing things, forgiving myself for holding on to things, etc. So it was, it was just, and then stepping up and accepting what is to come. Um, it was a real shift, which is why this is, is called the shift. And so allow stuff to come up, stuff to come out. This is stuff you've been resisting. This is stuff you've been maybe not denying yourself or not allowing yourself to even approach so allow it all to come up and it can be resentments that you're feeling that you don't allow yourself to say it can be as well as what you want it can be all of that other stuff things that you feel like holding you back etc so if you need help I've got four journaling questions here for you if you're somebody that doesn't journal a lot and I hear this a lot people just don't know what to do and you feel self-conscious journaling don't do that with this process. Don't allow that in. Don't allow the ego to come into this. This is exactly the opposite of that. That is, is really sinking in to all of these layers that you've got going on, that you have, that you can sometimes be conscious of subliminally. You, you, you know it, you maybe get dreams about it and things like that. Things that are the layers of you that you work on this top layer and you don't drop into these other layers because you're a mom you're an administrator, you're a counsellor, you're, you're whatever you are, all the labels that you have and we operate at this level versus these other levels of things that are going on within us and this process is about bringing those other things to light so bring up all of your feelings, bring up all of whatever it is that's happening in your life where change needs to happen, this is about bringing in that change and sometimes it's about um, allowing those feelings that you currently have in that situation to be, to acknowledge them, to not keep squashing them down in order to then shift them. Okay, so here are four journaling questions for your writing if you need steps to go through, okay? So the first one is, what are you ready to let go of? What are you ready to let go of? What have you had enough of? The next one we've already touched upon is probably the biggest, most important thing in this journal. It is what did you really, in capitals, really want to do, slash believe, slash have, slash whatever. 
what do you really want that you haven't opened up to yourself having that you've denied yourself having that you think is a whim that you think is a fantasy that you think isn't real that you think can never be and we're doing that question second because I feel like, as I already said, you need to maybe bring up feelings that you already have at the moment to let go of those in order to then say what it is you really want so that you're not kind of trying to think about what you want and then thinking about all the conflicting things that have been keeping you saying that you can't have it. Um, and then the third question is, why? Why have you had enough of your fears your critics, of your hang-ups, of whatever's kept you stuck. Why have you had enough of them? Why are you ready? Because you've got to be ready to move them out. You've got to be ready to say, I don't believe this anymore. You've got to be ready to say, I choose something else for myself in order to be more. And this isn't about necessarily getting what you want. It's about getting on the path. They're, they're very different um, because if you think about just trying to get what you want, you can suddenly get all the hang-ups again and all the critics and, all, and it stops you dead. So this isn't about getting what you want, it's just about rather than being on the path of the critics and the reasons why not and all of that stuff, it's about being on the path to what you really want. The two are very different places to live. Possibilities, no possibilities. Opportunities, no opportunities. Chances, no chances. It's an extremely different outlook on life and what it allows into your experience means is completely different. If you aren't open to things, then things won't come into you that will be on that path to what you really want. And finally, this is a practical step to actually walking that path. It is what do you need to do in order to activate the shift? This is scary stuff, I know. If you're actually doing the work and you're actually being honest with yourself, this is really scary stuff because now you're gonna get steps. Because we all have intuition, so you do know the steps, but you've maybe denied yourself even thinking, and you don't need to know all the steps, just one or two, just the first one. Um, and we all know what they are, it could be sitting your bum in the chair and actually doing something. It could be doing a Google search to find your local, I don't know, um, ring making. I'm, I'm interested in making some rings, some silver working. It could be doing a Google search for lessons around your area on something. It could be um, sitting down with somebody that you love and saying I need this from you it could be making a phone call it could be physically making something it could be whatever you know what the first step is what is the first step write it out again I'm not saying you have to do anything I'm not saying we are going for what we really want I'm saying we're opening up we're shifting here and that means being conscious of the first step because when it comes into your consciousness somehow it circles and it circles and you might not be ready to do it yet it might still be too scary but it's there and then one day you may just do it one day you may have done it and you think oh one day that scared the hell out of me and today nothing I just did it I, I do that quite a bit I've got to admit and I have to call myself up and say how amazing is that but because you did it you don't think it's that amazing oh just you know, whatever just did that but once upon a time it scared the hell out of you and so we're at once upon a time right now and this is about again I keep saying this it's about the shift into that that tipping point that pendulum swing that alteration it's the first step this whole process is the first step to swing in that pendulum to one day you having done whatever you wrote down for that last question and going oh yeah that once scared the hell out of me that's what the shift is about
really hope you go through this process. I know it is quite heavy, but you can make it light with your paints, with your paper, with your whatever. And the reason why it's heavy is because it's important. It's important. What do you really want? You should be getting what you really want, what you really want to do with your life. You've got one life. You're on this planet, it's what I say in the Creative Gold Journaling class, you've got one life to create whatever it is you want. So why would you deny yourself? Because of critics, they're still you, they're just trying to keep you safe. Um, because this is like, I might leave, I've got the Creative Gold Journaling class and the Creative Resistance Remedy class, both of which, one's about helping you bust through blocks, one's about, the other one's about helping you get your goal and using all different kinds of tool journaling processes and things like that. I might leave them um, at the half price that they currently are uh, for a little while, I don't know how long, maybe a couple of days, um, because I haven't been actively around telling you about it because of my shift, which is to actually take a, not a step back from Jenny Belly, but to, I've been holding on to Jenny Belly, and some of you have noticed this, I think, for a couple of years, I have shifted a lot and my creativity has shifted a lot. This monthly challenge is an example. It's healing, it's deep, it's about um, a lot more than just mixed media, or a lot more than making some beats, or a lot more than just, you know, the, the lighter, easier processes of, of creativity that I was doing a few years ago, and I was happy to do that a few years ago. But you guys have probably, that have been with me, have seen my shift over to things that are more um, and to be honest helpful I feel like more helpful for people more truer work they're not the light airy fairy stuff that to be honest gets me a whole load of followers and things like that it's the stuff that gets me those people that really need some shift some help some um, whatever it is that I'm currently sharing at that moment in time um, and those people that I really want to help. So, that is what I'm stepping into, and it's going to mean some th changes for Jenny Belly, which I don't know what they all are now, but it means I can't dedicate as so much time to journal workshops or to making videos. Or, and you've seen that, I think. You've seen that shift, and that's because things like Creative Resistance Remedy came out of my own resistance because this shift has been happening within me for a while. And I've been trying to stick to things that I wanted to do years ago. And in the last month, really, in January, I actually held my hands up and said, I'm going to release this. I'm holding on too tight to Jenny Belly. I'm holding on too tight to doing what I used to do. And it's meaning that I'm not doing the big things that I had planned for Jenny Belly. You know, like I had... Um, I was going to do classes with lots of teachers in it and I was going to do in-person stuff and I was going to do I had so many plans for Jenny Belly but I'm talking about five or six years ago these plans were and I haven't activated them so there's a reason for that there's a reason why I haven't taken Jenny Belly really up to the potential that Jenny Belly can be and that's because my heart is shifted it's somewhere else and it's in something else so those of you that have followed me for a few years I think will be happy with this other side that's going to come out it's not really other side it's me this is all me um, but it's me just saying yes to being more of me saying yes to the true work and the stuff that I think I was put on the planet to do and I don't think that that was just um, teaching people how to unstapler journal or something like that you know I think it was more than that um, and it always has been more than that this is actually right back to the original work I did when I first started art journaling myself it was about the healing aspect it was about dealing with grief and dealing with the bigger stuff it's I've done a full pendulum swing so what's going to be happening is a whole load of new stuff but not under the umbrella of Jenny Belly so we shall see how this all goes. Change is scary, change is scary for all of us, but I hope that me giving an example of actually doing the scary thing of releasing something, such as Jenny Belly that I've been so attached to for years, and that doesn't mean I'm going away entirely. I'm still gonna do journal workshops. I'm still gonna do the monthly challenge, the art swap group. I think I'm gonna let the, uh, the Makers Meetup group go 
and I'm not also going to do the birthday bash this year. Might do a Facebook Live or something for it instead, we'll see. So I hope that doesn't make you guys too sad. I'm still going to be here, I'm just not going to be dedicating all of me to Jenny Belly. And to be honest, me going where the inspiration and the energy is means that I might even have more time for Jenny Belly because I won't have that resistance that I've had because I've been squashing elements of myself. To be honest, there are three sides of myself, of my work and what I believe I'm supposed to be on this planet for. Jenny Belly, the artist, is just one of those facets. So you guys will see maybe the other two, I don't know, but definitely another one um, coming out. If you want to, you'll have the option to follow me into this new avenue or not. We shall see. Ah, I can't believe I've just shared that with you. It's quite scary, but that is the point of the shift. That is the point of growing. That is the point of life. This is the point of everything is to not stay stuck where you are just because it's where you are. It's to evolve. It's to embrace the new. It's to allow the change because that's where happiness is. You can't stay think of water stagnant it will go moldy it'll go in that's what happens with people as well you've got to move you've got to change you've got to allow yourself to really envelop all that you really are in order to be happy and that's I personally believe the purpose of life so in this journal we have gone through the meaning of life this is how deep this <laughs> the challenge has been but I love you all and I shall see you soon. I'm still going to be doing the monthly challenges so you'll definitely see me back here if nowhere else. Much love everybody. Have an awesome February.